Hey guys, so we're looking at some Australian Open data regarding Novak Djokovic and his contact points. You can see here it's broken down into on the rise, at the peak, and on the fall. And I'm going to interpret this as his core positioning. So when you're looking at Novak's success rate when he is on the fall, meaning he's deeper in the court, his opponent is pushing him back, his success rate is only at 48%. But when he's able to maintain core positioning closer to the baseline, he can take that ball on the peak and his win rate skyrockets to 61%. So this has a lot to do with where he's standing in the court, his compact preparation being able to take the ball early, but also, as you'll see in the next slide, his depth of shot and his ability to push his opponent back in order to maintain and improve his core positioning. So when you look at this graph, you're going to see where Novak is contacting the ball in his positioning on the left and where his ball is bouncing on the right. And a huge 91% combined ground strokes landing past the service line. And the deep part of the court, which is considered anything past halfway between the service line and the baseline, he's landing 39% of his ground strokes in there. So this data excludes serve, return and net play. But that is a huge amount of pressure that he's putting on his opponent to match his depth. Uh, or drop the ball short and allow Novak to come forward and attack. So to work on depth, rope off the depth line, move your player laterally and see how many balls in a row they can make past that line without a miss. Keep a high score and see if you can beat it each time.